What's going on YouTube? It is Linkrunty here. Back in with another video. This video is gonna be uh, my Ron Real Arsenal tour. Alrighty, so now we are getting into my spinning rod. This is my only spinning rod because my I normally use my spinning rod for drop shots, weightless um, plastics like wacky worm, just a weightless wacky worm, no football head weight. Um, poppers sometimes because it's really easy to get that nice motion to get that nice pop. B barely ever, but sometimes I use frogs because it's really easy to reel and walk it. And same with spooks. But so, this reel, it's a Quantum Escalade, the 30 series. I have 12 pound test on it. Um, mono. This, this reel has not given me any problems. The reel retails for around $70. But this reel, like I said, this reel has not given me any problems. It's a nice solid reel, and it's you can switch if you reel lefty. You can put the left on the left side, I mean the right side, if you want to. Um, then the rod I have set up with this is a Berkley Lightning Stick. It's um, seven foot rod. It's medium heavy. Um, this rod like is not the. It's really cheap. It, I only got it for twenty bucks at Walmart, but for the price, I mean, it's pretty good. I lost one eye, but that says because it's not the high quality rod, and I didn't really want to spend uh, like $100 or something on a nice spinning rod, because right now I'm saving up for a couple of new rods for my baitcasters, but um, yeah, but this rod, I definitely would recommend it to someone who's just starting out. Alrighty, so now we're moving on to my baitcaster. This is my favorite, my best baitcaster I've ever owned. It's a Lou Speed Spool Tournament Series. I have, it's a 7 to 1 gear ratio, I run 12 pound mono on it, stern mono. So far, what I, the price I paid for it was around 120 bucks. It's a, it's a wicked nice reel for anybody who's starting out fishing and you want to get a good bait caster and not pay wicked a lot of money like in the 300 range. If I would probably check, take a look at these. This is definitely one of my favorites. I've caught billions of fish on this. So, and then the rod I have actually for this, I have a Abu Garcia um, Vendetta. It's a 6'6 rod. It's medium. Um, this rod is amazing. I love this rod. Just... Alrighty, so my next rod is going to be, well, the reel is a Shamo reel. It's the YDC um, 1505 series. I, right now I'm running 20 pound braid on it. It's a 6 to 1 ratio. This rod is wicked good for swim I swim jigs. I use it. I toss it this. Um, like I have a punching setup on here right now. Uh, I've had no problems. I actually got this from one of my friends. I know I don't. I, it's pretty cheap, real, but still, it's nice to have another one. Um, the rod I have on this is a um, Bass Pro Shops TS series, which is the tournament series. It's a 6'6 rod. It's a medium heavy. It has a wicked nice, has a lot of action on the top. All right, so now we're moving into my last rod and reel setup. So this rod and reel setup is my braid rod that I use around heavy cover, really heavy baits, like two one ounce, two ounce jigs. This is um I punch I'm punching. Um, big swim baits, frogs, and like lots of lily pads. And this is the one right I have. It has a lot of backbone. I can really yank fish out of there when I need to. Um, so the rod is a Halo uh, fishing series. It's not the prettiest rod, but I mean, it gets the job done. It's a seven foot rod, it's a heavy action. But one thing I like about this rod is there's it's wicked sensitive. So I can really tell when a fish just nicks it if I'm jigging, and there's a lot of backbone, so I can really rely on this rod when I'm really in heavy cover trying to rip those bass out of the weeds. Um, and it works. It's been working so far. I've had this rod for about a year now, it, and it's getting the job done. So then the reel I got on here is a Bass Pro Shops TS, which is a tournament series reel. Actually, this was the combo that I got. It's an oversized spool, so I can get a lot more line on there. So I put on some 40 pound braid, so I can fit a lot more braid on than a regular size spool. It's a 6 to 1 gear ratio. Um, I, I, like I said, haven't had any problems with this rod. 
I love this, I mean reel, I love this reel, it's one of my favorites, out of my lose. Um, and if you guys are looking for like a cheap reel, rod and reel combo, just check out the um, tournament series at Bass Pro Shops. They're bait casters, they're around 60 bucks. That is it for today's video, I hope you liked it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave new video suggestions down in the comment section below. This is Lunk Hunter. See you later.